location, you need a good place in a greenhouse. You also need a lot of potting mixture, like G6, some plastic tray, you also need little cover for your plastic tray to create good growing condition. And don't forget the seed. Now it's time to take a place that will be perfect for mixing the soil. On that place put a big amount of soil. Here I use G6. Now that the soil have water in it, it's time to mix it. You want an uniformized distribution of water in your soil. Like this, you will have a good contact between your seed and the humidity. It will favor an equal germination. You can bring your tray and put all the potting mixture in it. Make sure that the potting mixture is uniform in the pot. Before planting, you should decide where you will put your seed. After that, you can put tag that will delimit where you will put your different plants. Now, it's time for one of the most important steps. It's the seeding. The first thing that I did is that I make little hole in each part of the tray. After I took the seed and I put one per hole. The seed were put it at about 0.5 cm. You can now bring your tray on the heated bench. We will count this day as D0. Day 9. We are starting to see little seedling. Because the Agromix G6 is really poor in nutrients, I will add some 20-20-20 to the potting mixture. For this, I put water in a pot and I put the, a little amount of 20-20-20 in it. After, I just have to, to mix it and spray it on the plant. As we can see, the germination in eggplant is really poor. Compared to the tomato, this is here, who is much better. Day 25. The stem of the tomatoes seem to be enough big for the grafting clips. But for the eggplant, it seems to be too little, so we will wait. At day 32, it has less difference between the stem of the tomato and the stem of the eggplant. So, it constitutes a good day for the grafting. First, let's graft tomato on eggplant. The first step to do is to decapitate the end of your eggplant. You also need to remove the leaf that can disturb you when you will have to put the grafting clips. After, you need to decapitate a tomato plant. Make sure that the plant of tomato that you choose have the same size of stem than your eggplant. Now that you have your two plants part, you can take a clip that will fit on the stem and insert it on the eggplant. Make sure that it's enough tight to be keep in place.
Now it's time to take the cyan and put it on your rootstock. Because the two cuts have been done in angle, you have to take care that the two angles are matching in the clips. If not, the cambion contact will not be good and the grafting cannot work. For my other grafting, I use the same technique as before and I graft 10 tomatoes on 10 tomatoes, I graft 10 tomatoes on 10 eggplants, I graft 10 eggplants on 10 eggplants and 10 eggplants on 10 tomatoes. All the plants were put in a mist frame where the humidity is increased and the light is reduced. Plant also add some wood stick to keep the plant right. When plants were wilting, I just cut leaves to reduce the transpiration. Day 47, taking the result. 4 on 10 eggplant on eggplant live. All tomatoes on tomatoes survive. Only 3 on 10 of the eggplant on tomato survive. Only 2 of the 10 tomatoes grafted on eggplants survive. Finally, with the control, we can see that the grafted plant had a lower growth than the non grafted plant.